Of course, you can train your AI model right in Tensor Arts. Let's see how to do it. In Tensor homepage, we can find the entries for this competition. I think this is very excited. We have uh, Flux Online Training Events. Oh my God! So if you win the first prize, you will get the latest GPU RTX. And this is not released yet. And uh, if you win the second or third places, you also have money to earn. If you win the fourth to tenth, you will get uh, sixty dollars each. Or Black Wukong. This is a game changer in 2024. I think you cannot miss it. Black Wukong. So as long as you follow my tutorial, you know how to train your model. It won't take too long. I think if I were you, I would join this competition for sure. Okay. So how to train your own AI model right here in Tensor to Art and even use in your local version of Stable Diffusion? Let's try. So click the online training here and we need to upload images for AI to train your models. So the requirements for the images are, so you must have a consistency of a certain character or style. So if you want to use the real person's images, like for example, like yourself, you need to have a bunch of the images of yourself. And if you want a training like the animate, so you have the certain style at least, so let me try this. Therefore, I already generate a bunch of the images have a uh, same style and, and the consistency of the characters. So this is girl very cool and in suit and have uh, this orange background and something like that, short hair. And we also have some versions that are quite different, different style, but we will use all the images to train one model. So basically, all I need to do is select all of the images and click the open. Okay, we already have all the, all the images that we require. And uh, let's click the repeat. So if we have a 20, which means all the images will be duplicated in the process of training our model. And we need to type the trigger words, which means in the prompts, if we type the trigger words, it will trigger all the images, our models. Okay, we're down. Remember to use a custom and we change the model to Flux 1 and Dev Mode. Click the Selected. So, which means the models will be based on Flux 1. If uh, the images won't cover certain parts of the uh, prompts and uh, Flux will stand out. And remember to click the Professional Mode. And here we have more values to adjust. For example, like LR Scheduler. We change it to consign with restarts. It will help us to speed up the process of training our model. Let's click start training now. Remember, it will cost a certain amount of the credits. So all we need to do is wait. Usually it will take three hours. So take a nap. Our model is ready and we can check the preview images to find a better version of the models. I think this one looks fine. And also we have uh, variations that's also very interesting. So basically you can choose one from 10 different variations. I will choose this one, click the publish or click download. If you click the download button, you might use it in your local stable diffusion or config UI and click here, publish. You can publish to Tensor Art and we can click the new project and find the correct uh, category or channel, choose the correct text. Okay, let's type the detail. So this time I renamed the model version as a 1.0 and uh, also leave the base model to flux one. And in description, okay, down, click the published. Model published successfully. Then we can click the edit. So here we can still write down stuff or choose the correct uh, uh, value. Then we can click the upload. All right, so here's our new model, yay. So all we need to do is wait for 15 minutes. After that, we can use it anywhere. And also we are able to download it right now and uh, able to share it to any platform. I really suggest you share to your uh, X or other account to get more clicks. Okay, this is how you train your AI models. All right, let's train another model. This time I will use another style. 
So here is my favorite game, Cuphead. So let's use the early 60 Disney style to train our model. Let's click the open. Okay, now we already uploaded all the images that we need. And let's create the trigger words. Also remember to click the custom and change the prompt to flux. And click the start training now. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Behold our models that created by us, training by us, with tensor arts. We have a 10 different variations. I think my favorite one is the first model. This is terrific. And we can download it to our local copy and we can even use it in our local stable diffusion and comfy UI by clicking the download button here. And also we can publish this model we can create a project. I'm going to call it Cute Monster and in the channel of the animate and we can add some tags. All right, click the create. Okay, now we need to fulfill some uh, inputs. So our Cute Monster's version and uh, we based on the model of the Flux one. Okay, in upload files, Tensor Art already help us to upload our model already. And select your download permission, free download or download disabled. Then click the published. Model published successfully. Now you can add information such as the product description, license, and more. Cool. Let's click the edit. Okay, we can change the product name and we can fulfill the description and the resources. Okay, we can fulfill the uh, description, then choose everything that fit for you, then click the upload. Wow, we just created our first cute monster models. That's pretty insane. Oh, we can use it after 15 minutes and we can download it now and we can share to other platform to promote our model. Pretty cool. I hope you like this tutorial and you can train your own models on your site. Congratulations, you finished this episode. And don't forget to subscribe us and please click the like button. Also, leave all your questions inside of our comment zone. I will see you on the next episode. Bye-bye.